Coach, welcome to Tempe. Chris Cartman, Sun Devil Source here. How you doing, Chris? I doing appreciate great. that. I'm excited to be here. Doing great. Um, can you just walk us through what the interview process was like talking with Herm Edwards and the rest of the coaches and why you ultimately decided that uh, this would be a good fit for you? Well, I uh, had a lot of great conversation with Coach Edwards and uh, I'm really excited to join his staff and, uh, you know, looking forward to working with this entire football staff, but, you know, most importantly, the offensive stack, uh, Zach Hill, Sean Aguano, Prentice, and Adam. So, but the interview process, uh, you know, was pretty much a normal interview, interview process. <laughs> so, but had quite a few conversations with Zach Hill and uh, was really impressed. Michelle? I know it's been recent that you were added to the staff coach, but have you had a chance to kind of look into the guys that ASU has coming back and what kind of players you might be working with? Yeah, I'm really excited to work with this group. Uh, I've watched quite a bit of film and uh, we got a real good group. And we'll just continue to work hard and develop those guys. Jordan? Hey, Coach, Jordan Ham, Sports 360 AZ. Um, when you're able to kind of put your stamp on this position group, what what do you want them to be able to do? What kind of brand uh, of football do they want? Do you want them to be playing? Two words, toughness and technique. We want to be a real physical group and uh, obviously establish the run game, protect the quarterback when they're throwing it. But toughness and technique, I pride myself. We're going to work hard on our own technique and, if you have a question for coach, use the raise hand function. Next one's for Hode. Hi, Coach Hode Rubino, Devil's Digest. Um, when it comes to you um, coming to a new place of employment, how, is it a fine line to walk between really um, examining what happened prior to your arrival, looking at last year's film, versus really wanting to, to give everybody a clean slate? Well, obviously, a little bit of both. You know, you. You want to watch the film, but you also want to give every guy a clean slate. You know, it's, it's a new day and um, give everybody an opportunity. And it's like the old Missouri license plate, show me, right? So we have every chance to show them what they're all about every day. So it's for work. Christian? Yeah, Coach, the offensive line improved so much in 2020 from where it was in 2019. How do you sort of hope to continue that upward trajectory this year? Well, again, like I said, just developing guys, you know, working hard daily on technique. And uh, to me, uh, you know, repetition is the greatest teacher. We're going to work real hard on all that stuff we're talking about. Mac? Hey, Coach. Uh, you've got a ton of experience yourself, and this is an experienced offensive line group that has racked up some years. Um, for an offensive line, there has to be five players who are on the same page to achieve the best result. How do you kind of hope to create that unity or bond here at ASU? Well, you know, as an offensive line unit, you got to communicate. So that communication has to be great. We all got to be on the same page. Um, you know, to me, I'm going to coach my guys hard. I'm going to love them hard. And, uh, you know, I also like to do a lot of things when we're able with this crazy pandemic, but normally have the guys over in my house so they can hang out with my wife and I and eat feed them good. So just look for all that. Jordan? Coach, when Coach Edwards came to Tempe, he really emphasized the guys coming off the bus, being able to, to intimidate and, and have that size as an outsider and now an insider. Just where do you assess where the offensive line is physically and where can they, they go from there? I'll be honest. I mean, just watching them on film, their physical group, you know, I haven't really, you know, I've got to meet them <laughs> and haven't worked with them yet. So I'm looking forward to that. Chris? Coach, uh, you spent a lot of time at Oregon State with Mike Riley. Just wanted to get your thoughts on um, just the Pac-12 in general and uh, your experiences playing uh, against Arizona State and, um, you know, what you think about this location and its opportunity for success here. I spent a uh, total 13 years with Coach Riley. I was with him 10 at Oregon State and then three at Nebraska. So, uh, and then coaching in this 
conference. That was one of the things that really intrigued me to get back here. I got a lot of great friends out here. And obviously, week in and week out, it's great competition. So, it'll be a fun deal. Any other questions for Coach? All right, Coach, thank you for the time. Thank you very much. Nice to meet everybody.